Hi everyone, this is Dr. Stad from the platform of research and analysis. In today's video, I will discuss how to enter survey data in SPSS. This is one of the basic problems students often face when they start entering their survey data in SPSS. So this is the interface of SPSS. Here you can see two tabs, one is data view and other one is a variable view. Before start entering the data, we must have to prepare our variable view tab. So from here we can start like in our questionnaire. Uh, our first question is relevant to gender. So you can just say enter and then we have education. then our third question is related to age and finally the ex experience so these are the demographic variables and after that we have the questions relevant to our different variables or constructs so let's first discuss it how to enter the data relevant to these questions so whatever we have entered here uh, in the name tab you can see it will appear here in that data view just on the up of the every column <coughs> so this is the time <coughs> like if you can you can see that these are all the options so but like if we are just using a survey or you know so we can change it according to our requirements but since we are and just having a demographic variable so it is fine just to just to click this option numeric this is the birth and here is the decimals uh, like in our case we are not using any decimals so we can just remove these decimals to zero here is the label uh, in most of the cases we can just copy this name and we can put it here at the label but yes there could be some difference as well like age yes but here you can put like if you have any specific label regarding the experience for instance we are interested in just organizational tenure remember that whatever we will put in here in the labels it will appear in a in our output file so here are the values if we have like any sort of value assigning any value particular to a specific category like in this case we have gender and here we have two options against the gender one is male and second one is female so we can assign a particular value against each label like here we can assign one value against the label male and then two value for female we can just add and then click ok in the same way uh, we can assign the value to the different categories of education um, but here I will not go into the details because of the short of shortage of the time but we can do just since I already have the collected data so just I will put it here just paste but yes you can if you want to see you can have a look so this is what I have assigned the values against 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 
in the same way we can assign particular value but here I am just copy and pasting from another file but for sure if you want to enter these values must you must have to prepare them one by one all right and finally yes experience I hope you will uh, you understand it so this particular column is representing missing value uh, if you write let open it if you write like any unique value for the missing data so it will become easy for you to retrace the missing value what will happen whenever your data have some value like 999 so the SPS software will understand it this is the missing value and later on you can make any treatment for these missing values then here the measures uh, we can use like in case of gender since it is a nominal value nominal values are those measures who make no difference for example if we are taking male or female or female or male it's just the same so in this case we will use it as a nominal but in the other cases like education age experience in which the order is matter then these are the ordinal measures now we are going to enter the other items like our first variable is transfer of training which consists of six items so here what we can do just tt1 tt2 tt3 tt4 and tt5 and finally the tt6 and here we can just because in our scale there is no decimal so we can put it like 0 0 0 all right and here we can put like transfer so here we can assign the specific label against these items and here we can assign a particular value like in our case we have one for Segue to for two for every and Finally, the Pfeiffer strongly agree. And after that, we can just copy and paste over here, 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 and here. And since these are the items of scale, you can simply put them into scale And there are certain rules regarding the entrance of this name you can't can't have any space let me show it to you like for example if you are showing tt 
same way it will not accept it also you can't use any special character over here like the only special character which you can use here is this underscore yes this is what you can do but here we have only six items so i'm just querying it so guys whatever we have entered in the name column it will automatically appear here on the top of each of these columns here so if we have the response from the respondent one so we will enter here like if it's male we will enter one and if it is female then we will enter two let's say it's female two education yes wait so this is how we can enter the data remember that in spss it only accept the numerical values so you must have whole data in this numeric form so that you can run all your statistical analysis i hope you will understand that how to enter the data in spss if you will have any further question regarding the entering of the data please remember to write in the comments thanks for watching